This was constructed in 1956. There wasn't anything around it. I mean, there was no baseball field. It was all basically, of course, there was a football stadium. No highway. It was just Brownfield Highway with the railroad track. So remember, the railroad used to go all the way up right here next to Brownfield Highway on the other side of Brownfield Highway. You know, one of the biggest issues is ADA accessibility if you continue to use this and none of these stairs and uh, the incline, I don't know, I know that the, there's a certain grade that you have to have on these ramps and then the aisles have to be lit so you have to come in and redo all that. At one time, this back wall back over here was, uh, they, they had actually uh, glass and stuff like that. So it has been remodeled okay. a little bit here and there. But. But, but I think the biggest thing, yeah, I think that's, you know, they, they would have to be replaced is the ADA accessibility of, of, of this facility. Mm -hmm. and, and then when you go consider that, the restrooms are far from uh, being compliant with today's uh, code. The stage is big enough over here uh, for, for the larger shows. Uh, that's one thing that they do like about this area as far as the stage size. Okay. But uh, there's definitely a lot of things that need to be done behind the proceedings. Well, I just had some experiences when you tackle, especially a public building and the, and the ADA standards that you have to bring it up to if you do a certain percentage of construction is, you know, you have to address entrances and stairways and the grade on this um, aisle down here. I can't remember what the grade is, but it has to be uh, a certain, an easier grade than this for wheelchair accessibility. Then also all so aisles, all the way down the yeah, <laughs> aisles must be lit, and so you'd have to really come in here and carve a ton of this stuff out uh, and make sure that it was all uh, compliant with with, to, with today's expectations. And Just the amount of facilities, as you know, in new buildings, this isn't enough. Because the fire marshal goes, you can't pack people in. It's once if we started a project, to your point, mm -hmm. if we started a massive project on this, yeah. it's, it, it kicks in everything that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. now, <laughs> uh, you know, if it's a hot day, uh, the air handlers have a challenge. It gets rather warm in here. And, uh, are, are we down to two air, we're four air handlers or we're down to two? Okay. You know, and, and let's look at positives, not, not just issues that we're dealing with. Let's look at the, the, I mean, the, in my opinion, the front of this is a really architecturally great built. That's what kills me on all these things. Yeah, this is, this is, is cool. Uh, it's hard to duplicate some of that. Right. And, and so we need to take the positive.
and, and there are large dressing rooms upstairs for, 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 this is probably one of the, this is probably a dressing room for one of the stars or, you know, Bob Hope was probably in here, I don't know. Bob Hope was in here. Yeah. Elvis used the one next door. <laughs> yeah. Those are a lot of things need to be salvaged, I would think, because I'm big into saving anything. I doubt those lines. I mean, those lines will upgrade. Any candles back? Those probably wouldn't be Camera shot those pictures right there, and they have some of them have original autographs on them. Michael, can you identify this people? I mean, this, this stuff is, of course, old. Does it need to be updated? Is it harder? You basically would wash this entire, if, if you were going to do, in my opinion, a redo of the facilities, this entire mechanical would be washed. Start over. Just, I mean, you, you don't have, you know, we don't have to know anything about boilers to know those were very old and were a, uh, it's a huge project to install those in here in the 50s. Oh, I can imagine. And then if you wanted to take them out, I don't even know how that would be possible. I don't know either. I can't imagine um, what's in them. But I, I assume they come through this wall and then build the wall afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know when these stop being in use? Oh gosh, long time ago. Thank you. 
between the, the bathroom odor and the uh, dirt odor, it's quite an interesting smell right there. There's one reason, Brad, we think that Gerald Myers could not confirm this, and I've interviewed him on this, he could not confirm whether or not that this was built and subsequent when we got in the Southwest Conference within a couple of years after that. Okay. We didn't, Tech didn't have a real basketball arena. Yeah. Had the barn. The barn. The barn, over there by the library? Not the, not not the, the dairy barn. barn. Oh, okay. There was another gym called the barn. Okay. <laughs> it was old wooden structure that didn't have much seating. Okay. Interesting. This put Tech in Get the the right size yeah. uh, units down here okay. with this size. So that would have all this is not. It's a it's a bigger project than uh, yeah. we expected. But mainly, you're talking about the two biggest are staff and utilities. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some's insurance, some is maintenance. Okay. Which is more emergency maintenance because we haven't done. And I guess keeping big on minimal heating and cooling. Yeah. turned into first aid stations. But originally when this was built, this was the bathrooms for non white. This is kind of interesting. It says this is a non-smoking facility. In the 60s during Texas Tech basketball games, there was always a cloud at the top. Because so many people smoked. Well, watch, I remember as a youth and uh, it, there was always a cloud at the top. I'm not making that up. It, it... <laughs> Depending on what level you sure. rehab at. The, but go back to the question is how many more events we can do. Yeah. 